Afternoon guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School and what I thought we'd do today is take some time to make a hook knife and we're going to make this hook knife which is used for carving boons and spoles or concavities basically in wood for wood carving projects and green woodworking. I thought we'd go ahead and forge one of these tools today. I've never made one before like this so I thought I'd go ahead and try my hand at it today. So stay with me and we'll get started on that and just a reminder Myself and my lead instructor, Jamie Burley, will be at our Indianapolis location of Self-Reliance Outfitters on October 23rd and 24th. I'll be doing book signings and things like that. We'll be doing some bushcraft type demos. Come and join us at the store. You can look it up on the internet at www.selfrelianceoutfitters.com for all the details and information on that event. Now we want this blade bevel on the outside of this knife. So we're going to curve it with the bevel on the outside. Just going to give ourselves a nice gentle curve here. Nothing too drastic. That's actually not horrible bad right there. I may hook it just a little bit more than that. Heat this thing up and get ready for heat treat and tempering. Okay, so we've got our hook knife out of heat treat now. We've got a good yellow color to it after tempering. And we've got our handle ready here. I've just got a nice hickory handle here that's drilled out and ready to go. I'm going to use just some Gorilla Glue to secure this in here. And it really doesn't take much of this at all. stuff expands so much that you really just need to put a thin coating on the tang of this knife and when it expands inside there you'll have to break that handle to get that thing out of there for sure so we're just going to get that seated where we want it get a pair of pliers on that thing okay so we got this thing in our handle now and it's been drying for about an hour or so I'm just kind of Taking some time here to sand the handle down a little bit with some 120 grit. And I've been slowly buffing the blade. It's coming out pretty good. I kind of want to show you a close up of it. I'm pretty happy with the way it's turned out. You can see that it's Shined up really good, it's got a good mirror finish on. And the blades are a little bit tricky to try to run on a buffer, but this thing's definitely good and sharp. I don't want to get too rough with it while it's drying and the glue's setting up, so I haven't really went just you know right after it. I've just been doing a little at a time. 
I wanted to get all this on video for you guys uh, without trying to make two parts of this thing. But I'm going to uh, get this handle sanded down, sanded down in oil. And then once this thing dries really good, we'll finish sharpen it up and give it a test run. But it's in pretty good working order right now. And it's a left-handed tool. I'm left-handed, but it's also... The grind is on the outside. Remember that. The bevel's on the outside. And from what I'm reading, a lot of the carvers prefer to have that bevel on the outside, even on things like an ads, because it kind of creates a wedge that brings that back up out of the material as you carve without digging in deeper. Kind of the same principle as turning a chisel upside down, I guess. But it works really, really well. Um, from what I can tell so far, I've got a couple tools that have that type grind on them that work really well. So I'm hoping that this personal one that I made is going to work as well. We'll find out when she's all dried up. Okay, guys, well, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School, and I appreciate you joining me out here for this video of making this spoon carving or bowl carving knife today. I've oiled the handle up with birch really good now, and I'm just going to let it dry before I try to use it. I'll try to make a video using this, making a spoon or something like that so you all can see it. I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. I thank you for your views. I thank you for support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business. For all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.